Hi, my name is Randy Miller, and today I'm going to be talking to you about comparison. Uh, wrapping, the new way to do re redo a kitchen cabinet, painting or replacing the cabinet doors. Uh, I want to just show you the ins and outs, and you can compare. If you're a painter, uh, you put your inputs down. If you're a cabinet guy, you put your inputs down. Also, if you're a wrapping company, tell me what you guys think about this. And I'm going to... Uh, do my best to show you why I like wrapping more than painting or replacing. Okay, just a little background. I used to be a professional painter. I did it for about 13 years and I stopped the business in 2009 and went towards uh, wrapping and then it morphed into something different, but it is more and more into wrapping. I do travel around the country wrapping cabinetry wraps and door wraps and all kinds of things and wraps. I just want to show you the ins and outs and people, uh, so we'll kind of go from that right there. Uh, like I said, put your comments down if, if you think that's this is a not fair or whatever, but I'm going to try to be as fair as fair as possible. Um, what we can do is the, the most typical way is uh, if you want to replace your cabinets or your cabinets are looking old and the first thing someone wants to do is paint them. So when you want to paint them, uh, the first thing you do, you got to actually take all the doors off and um, you got to, the proper way to do it. Oh, and also everything down below the link in the description box, I have links. And I've got how, uh, wrapping uh, versus replacing doors versus painting. Okay, so when I had to do, when I was painting in the painting business, we had to do the cabinetry wraps. We had to remove all the doors. Uh, again, we we have to remove all the doors anyways for wrapping. But also, if there is a lacquer or clear coat, and if it's a wood grain, uh, you got to remove all that. This is the proper way to do it. Uh, after you do that, you got to oil prime everything. And uh, a lot of times we have to spray. So that indicates you got to actually close down the kitchen for a week or two, uh, depending on how big the kitchen is. And also the, the smell and the fumes and the loud and the, the dirty, all kinds of stuff. Uh, and then you actually have to probably have a garage at the job site, spray them to make them do it properly. And like I said, it's going to take weeks to do. Uh, the other option is, and actually I'm going to show you real quick. Let me, uh, uh, oh, the website right there. Um, the other options, you can go to Cabinet Now. Go ahead and check it out, cabinetnow.com. And if you just click, for instance, uh, let's click on, oops, let's click on just the main website. We're going to click on the, the square, flat doors, something simple, something that the cheapest, cheapest I can find it. Uh, it's, Probably, you know, it's probably the top right here, top left-hand corner. And I'm just going to compare it right now. Um, we're going to do an average size door. So it's 18 uh, by 30. That's the top part of the door. Um, actually, on the bottom too, but most of the top doors are about 18 and a half by 30. You're going to spend up to $55 just the door itself and that's not staining it and that's not including shipping. The shipping cost, I think it was like, where does it say? Oh yeah, where it says right here. I don't know if you see my, oh you can't see my mouse. Where it says uh, free shipping over $1,500. So if you, um, if you spend over $1,500, that's great. Um, uh, but for the ship, free shipping, but that's, let's just count that right there. So that's, uh, Fifty-five dollars, just 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 for the door itself, just for the door itself. Okay, um, if you if I go to the Arm Wraps website, armwrapsstore.com, and we're going to I'm going to this is the versus versus. Uh, we're going to go to Belvian, and we're going to go to uh, wood grain, and we're just going to go pick one one wood grain. You just pick whatever what grain it is. And we're going to see it's going to be $70. Uh, yes, it's a little bit more expensive, but you get this, it's not over yet. Okay. Um, so that's just, you basically get a four by three, you can estimate uh, $70 to wrap both sides of the door. 
the process is basically when you wrap a door, actually let's do this. When you wrap a door, oops, sorry. <laughs> Uh, you hit both sides and you basically clean the door. Well, I was going to show you how to do it, but you can click down below at the website. And, and so when you clean a door, you just clean it with rubbing alcohol. You don't have to sand it. You don't have to do anything. You just take the door off. And, um, and then, of course, down in the description box, you're going to see, um, let's see what you can click on. Oh, uh, you can probably click on how to wrap a camera door. It's a, it's, um, it's down there in the, in, in the link and everything. But also, you can go on top right hand corner. There should be some links up there too. Um, clean the door, and then you just wrap it, and then you can put the door right back on. Or uh, if you're going to wrap a cabinetry or a cabinet box, you need to wrap that too. Oh, that's another thing. Boy, I'm really scattered right now. Um, so when you actually have to replace a door, you have to actually uh, match the cabinet, or uh, it's, it's going to look funny. It looks like you just um, you uh, you try to fix it, and, but the, 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 that's the hard hard part is matching the cabinet door to the cabinet box itself. Um, when you paint it, uh, again you're going to be down a week or two uh, to paint it. You're going to have fumes. It's going to be dirty, and um, you have to take everything out of the cabinetry. Um, so if you just do that, it, it's just, it's a long process. Actually, in most kitchens I do, even even the big kitchens, uh, usually takes me two tops, tops three days. An average kitchen usually takes me a day and a half to wrap, and you don't have to remove everything out of the, of the cabinetry. Uh, there's no mess, no, sp uh, no uh, smells or anything like that. Uh, I'm just trying to show you the ins and outs. And like I said, if you're a painter, if you're a cabinet person, or if you're even a rapper, comment down below and tell me yes, no, no you, this is not. And another thing, if you don't paint the cabinets right, if you just paint the cabinets, uh, if you don't use the right paint, um, your fingernails will scratch it off and um, it's gonna, it's gonna, doesn't look as good as it was the day it was painted. Uh, when you wrap it, it's sealed up and it is strong. This is actually uh, when you wrap it, and actually there's a lots of designs. Let me show you real quick. Uh, this is the Belbian ones. Oh, sorry, Dynock product right here, and this is the the, the PDF file. But also you can see it on the rnwrapstore.com, and you can see the wood grains. Um, they have lots of different wood grains you can choose from to make it more uh, up to date. Let me know if I'm going too fast. <laughs> um, you got wood grains. Let me go put down the cool. There's some actually really cool stuff. You can have silk. Um, oh, metallic. The metallic ones are really cool. Uh, of course, you can't see it on that, but I have um, a video on that. You can make it look like leather. You can make it look like um, a stone. That's another, that's another cool. You can make the cabinets look like stone. That that I want to see right there. There's some really hardcore special effects ones that changes colors. Um, I haven't even done that, worked on that yet, but that's that another one. So you can see the multiple uh, uh, stuff you can do, and you can do solid colors too. The multiple stuff you can do with the the Dianoc or the Belbian material. Uh, hundreds and hundreds of designs and everything. Uh, I'm just kind of showing you the ins and outs. Uh, I see it a lot faster, cleaner, and um, and another thing when you want to replace the doors, you gotta take it to the dump. <laughs> a lot, lot less waste uh, if you just wrap it. Um, I don't know what else I can tell you. I mean. The only things they can't, what we can't do, is wrap in the really detailed stuff. Um, I get phone calls almost every day about the thermal foil doors, and uh, let's see if I can find that one right. Hold on, I can show you what the thermal foil doors are. <laughs> okay, let's go here. Thermal foil doors, and okay, you see um, the left, right, and center. Uh, where the grooves are at, uh, the vinyl, it's very hard to go in that vinyl. 
and um, I don't recommend going over thermal foil, foil doors with the materials. Uh, also, if you have uh, detail work in like the crown molding and everything, uh, I don't I don't recommend because there's a lot of detail stuff. But if you have, and the trend is if uh, the, the the flat doors, the smooth. Actually, you can see it right there. That's those are the trends right now. Um, having very simple, modern-looking doors. Um, so that uh, if you paint it, you, the best way is spraying it. If you paint, if you hand paint it, especially if it's white, you got to put two, three, or four coats on there just to cover the white. Uh, and again, it's not waterproof as as it's not as durable as the wraps. Uh, and to be honest, if you get tired of the wraps, you could pull the wraps off and, and uh, do a new wrap if you want every year. Uh, we could do custom wraps like prints, like sunflowers and stuff like that. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, we're starting to get more and more of that. But the most modern one is using the Dinoc and Belbian materials. Uh, you can actually, let's go back to the website of... All right here, so you just go to armwrapstore.com. You can choose from the Belvian and the Dynock, and they do come four feet. Both of them do come four feet wide. I got how-to video or watching you do uh, this actually right here is well. Actually, you know what? Here, let me show you real quick. Um, this is kind of the blog I'm working on, and this is a luxury one down in Florida. They did. And they use the Belbian one. I showed them. I show you guys what kind of Belbian. You can see right before and after uh, pictures. That's before right there. And the white is after. And you can see how well it transforms. I was there literally two and a half days and to wrap all this kitchen. And the owner was there. There was no smell, no... Uh, Noise, very little noise is the noise of the paper being rolled up. Um, and yeah, the customer was blown away. The transfer, you know, just transforming this look. Um, yeah, and that, that's what you can see right there. Uh, and if you order it, um, like the Dynock, the Belvian, you can order it by, by the yard. Actually, let's do this. Let's go, let's go to the wood grains. Let's just pick one and I'll show you an exa example of what, what to do. So you can go to 4x3, I normally do. You add to the cart, and <coughs> if you need 5 yards, you just go uh, 5 yards, check the updates, and then you can see it's going to be $443. Um, that will cover uh, 5 doors, both sides, or 10 doors on one side. And uh, it'll be thirty-five dollars to ship because the tube comes uh, four four feet high by eight by eight inches. So it's a, kind of a big box. It's not heavy; it's just big, and bulky. Uh, then it'll be one continuous strip. It, it won't be five broken up strips. It'll be five yards long, four feet wide. Uh, and then we have, like again, we have tons. And if you want to get a hold of me, you can see where that message right there message us. You can go to uh, Facebook right there, or you can email me on the top of the website or call me. Um, if you need to have a custom, where is it at? Right there. If you need to um, send some samples so I can customize it, you can watch these videos right here uh, on my uh, armwrapstore.com. You can do all that. Uh, other than that, I'm just kind of showing you the ins and outs, and I can talk to you more and more about that. Um, let's see, where am I? Oh, there it goes. Okay, and like I said, I'm traveling more and more, and people are, are finding that this, this solution is a, a lot cleaner, faster, and sometimes a lot cheaper too because if you want to replace a whole kitchen uh, cabinets it's gonna cost you a lot because the, the thing is they have to demolish everything and then put new cabinets in granted you got new cabinets but if you want something just to look like it's updated 
uh, I think the vinyl is the best way to go. Okay, again, if you got any comments or questions, if you like these videos, give me a thumbs up. I want some some noise out there to show me that you guys are paying attention or you like this kind of stuff. Comment down below and say, nah, this is painting's much better or just replacing the whole door is much better. Uh, let me know, but the way I see it, <laughs> wrapping is the best thing for me, or the way I see it. I'm not trying to be biased because it's my business. I just see it's a lot, I think it's a lot better. Uh, instead of replacing the whole thing, you just, if you want to update it, just wrap it. Okay, get a hold of me, 208-696-1180. Email me at rmwraps at gmail.com. And uh, there should be a little uh, buttons coming along pretty soon. Uh, click on those buttons so you can see more and more stuff, like how-tos and uh, more of the products. Okay, thanks. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.